What's up Wildcats? Here at Nova High School, classes are split between a standard and 4.0 grading scale. However, these two scales are very different and have a lot of pros and cons. But first, let's go ask our students what they think of these scales. In my opinion, I like the 4.0 grading scale better because it's lenient compared to the standard. So I like the 4.0 scale better because like it's easier to get an A. Now hear me out. The only reason I passed Spanish 1 is because of the 4 point grading scale and I go with it. Just like Enzo said, 4 point grading scale slays. I agree with the what they said for the 4.0 grading scale because it's easier and I passed math last year because of it. I like the 4.0 grading scale. It's easier to get an A and I like it. <laughs> Personally, I like the standard grading scale better just because like I feel like the 4.0, there's a lot less incremental value. It's not as specific as like the standard grading scale and I feel like it doesn't really reflect your grade as well. I like the standard one because you can actually read it better. I think I prefer the 4.0 scale. It's a little like easier on the grading. While it is nice to get like a 3.5 and then still get an A plus. Like getting a 3.4 and getting a B is kind of sucks. I like the standard grading scale because it's like easier to determine which letter grade you have. The GPA grading scale is just for report cards. So I like the four point grading scale. It's a lot easier to get an A than if you do the standard grading scale because the percentages are different. I like the 4.0 scale better because I feel like it's easier for the teachers to grade and easier for the students to keep up with their grades. I like the four point scale better it's just more simple and I feel like it brings your grade up like higher and you can get your grade up even faster. I prefer the regular grading system. I feel like the 4.0 grading system kind of generalizes grades too much. Even if like the 4.0 grading system takes into account like grades below 50 can really damage your grade. I don't know, that's kind of your problem. Standard because 4.0 it's hard. Why? <laughs> it's harder to understand. I didn't understand it last year. All right. Overall, about half the students we interviewed think the 4.0 scale is better. But what are the major differences? I wanted to know the thinking behind why the 4.0 scale is being implemented to all of our classes next year. So I want to ask Mr. Combe. Hi there, I'm Andrew Combe. I'm the Director of Curriculum and Assessment here in Novi. I was previously the Assistant Principal here at the high school and also at our middle school. What is the 4.0 scale and why is it different? So the 4.0 scale is based on a traditional idea of a, B, C, D, E, right? So your GPA is four to zero, class letter grades are basically A, B, C, D, and E. And so the idea of a four point scale, you'll hear it sometimes called equidistant, is to make sure that there's fairly equal space between an A, a B, a C, a D, and an E. With the 100 point scale, sometimes that's not true, right? When you really bomb a test and get like a 27%, that's way further away from a D, right? Why is the scale being implemented to all of our classes next year? So the idea is it's, it's more fair for kids. One thing I think that's tricky is some kids think that it's inflation, which it really isn't. If you were going to get an A in a traditional percentage scale, you'll likely get an A in a, in a 4.0 scale. But what it does help do, you know, if you've had a hard time and you didn't turn something in and you got a zero, right? Let's say you get one zero on, on a big assessment and then you recover and, you know, next month you do a great job and you get an A. You get like 100%. If I have 100% and one zero, what do I have? An E, yeah. right? In my mind, if you have one awesome success and one failure, should shouldn't you be somewhere in the middle, right? Like a yeah. C, not an E, but in a 100% scale, you get an E. If you use a four point scale, which we do with our GPA, right? If you have one A, which is a four, and one zero, you end up at something in the middle. You'll end up with like a two and a half, which is like a C. So the idea is it's far more equitable and it matches our GPA scale as it is right now. Over the next few years, are we gonna kind of see an increase in students' grades and performance? I think so. I think that one thing that it helps is a lot of kids, you know, if you struggle a little bit and you've gotten a few of those low grades, grades, you know, a zero, a 20 something percent. What research actually tells us is that those things don't motivate kids. A lot of times you'll hear that, oh, if you get a zero, that will that means you work harder. But really what happens when you realize you have like a 23 percent in the class, a lot of kids start to give up. But when you realize that you're not that far from passing, then kids tend to, to continue to stay engaged. What it doesn't do though is it doesn't give easy scores to kids. Like, you know, even if you pass a few things and fail a bunch of things, you're going to you're gonna pass, but you're not getting an A without doing A level work. Right? That hasn't changed. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. No matter if you like the standard or the 4.0 scale, the 4.0 is coming next year no matter what, so be ready for it. Thanks for watching, Wildcats. I'll see you next time.